Well, Jen, that statement from an attorney for Bishop Lavashi just came down a few moments ago that says he categorically denies these allegations calling them not true. Now that statement goes on to read that Bishop Labashi has dedicated over 43 years to serving others as a Roman Catholic priest, during which time he has earned an impeccable reputation for treating all individuals with dignity and respect. It goes on to say while Bishop Labashi has great compassion for victims of sexual abuse, he will be forced to vigorously defend against these false allegations in court. In a civil lawsuit, Bishop Peter Anthony Labashi of the Diocese of Manchester is accused of sexually abusing a child around 12 or 13 years old in 1983 and 84. The diocese issued a statement about the lawsuit telling News 9 that following standard protocol, the matter has been reported to civil authorities. But tonight, Road to Recovery, Inc., a nonprofit charity based in New Jersey that assists victims of sexual abuse and their families, says that's not enough. Here we go again with another allegation against a bishop. Robert Hotson is the president of the organization. He previously served as a priest in the Archdiocese of Newark. If he were a priest in this diocese, he'd be, he would have been removed by now. When they handle the bishops, anything goes. Hotson is calling on Cardinal Sean O'Malley, head of the Archdiocese of Boston, to remove Bishop Labashi while the lawsuit moves through the courts. Based on the Pope's uh, decree called Vos Estes Lux Mundi, you are the light of the world, and that's supposed to uh, hold bishops accountable for what they've done, either in cover-up or in abusing abuse themselves. And tonight, the Archdiocese of Boston tells us the authority to suspend a bishop falls on the Vatican or their designee appointed to investigate allegations. Right now, no designee has been appointed. So again, that authority falls on the Vatican and not Cardinal Sean O'Malley. By the way, we did reach out to the Vatican on several occasions, but we have not received a response. Reporting live tonight, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 